what's up guys welcome back to the channel so today we have the JBL boombox 3 on deck we're gonna do a full review for you we're gonna check out the physical features we're gonna check out the specs we're gonna check out the price and we're gonna do a sound test to see if it stands up and if it's worth the price uh, you want to stick around if you're not yet subscribed subscribe hit that notification bell it helps the channel out and if you want a speaker I've left a link in the description below click on the link help out the channel you know that we do good work here and uh, let's get into it as I place the speaker on the unboxing table I must mention that the unboxing experience with the JBL has always been a good one so let's get ready to get into the box first off you'll see that it has 24 hours of playtime ip67 waterproof and dustproof it has a power bank and it also has a jbl party boost inside the box you'll find the jbl boombox 3 a quick start guide the power cord and the safety instruction and warranty card as usual guys, I'm going to start out with the physical features first, but before I begin, YouTube tells me that over 80% of you guys are not subscribed. So hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, it helps out a lot, and it's free. The JBL Boombox 3, like many JBL speakers, have a very rugged exterior. The majority of the speaker is wrapped in a waterproof fabric that covers a hard plastic shell protecting the drivers and the components inside. On the sides of the speaker is a hard plastic cap that protects the passive radiators. The top of the speaker is where you'll find all the control buttons such as the play pause skip button, the volume up button, the Bluetooth connect button, the power button, the volume down button and the JBL party boost button. There is also a battery and charging indicator just below the JBL logo. The dimensions of the speaker is 19 inches wide by 10 inches tall and it weighs a whopping 14.7 pounds. This is by no means a light speaker but the handle makes it a little bit easier to carry around with you. A flap opens on the back to reveal the AC input, the USB charge output and the auxiliary output. On the bottom of the speaker are grooved rubber shoes to help the speaker stay in place when it's pumping out all that bass. Now speaking of bass, the speaker has one 80 watt subwoofer, two 40 watt mid-range speakers and two 10 watt tweeters when connected to AC power. When on battery power, the woofer goes from 80 to 60, the mid-range goes from 40 to 30 and the tweeter goes from 10 to 8. The battery in the JBL Boombox 3 takes six and a half hours to charge and when fully charged the speaker can play music up to 24 hours depending on the volume that you're playing it. At the time of this recording this speaker costs over 500 US dollars. I left a link in the description if you want to pick it up on Amazon. The JBL Boombox 3 uses Bluetooth 5.3. You can connect two devices to the speaker at the same time. It's also compatible with the JBL Connect app that you can download from the Apple or the Google Play Store. This easy to use app allows you to update the speaker's software, change the music setting with this easy to use three band equalizer, and connect to other compatible speakers with the JBL Party Boost. My opinion is that the speaker is a well-built speaker, but it's a bit on the heavy side and it's a bit on the expensive side. Now, is the sound that comes from it worth it? I'm going to do the sound test, testing it outside in a windy environment and let you decide. I'm also going to test the sound on the inside when it's connected to power. <laughs>
take it, take it. Oh. Driving baseline. Okay guys, so that's my review of the JBL Boombox 3. It's a great speaker, not sure if it's a good value for the $500 price tag. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And again, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification button and like this video. It helps out a lot. Until next time guys, I'll leave you with this.